Researchers at Thomas Jefferson University recently found that ursolic acid, a compound found in some herbs and the peels of certain fruits, promoted nerve cell repair and restored the myelin sheath covering and protected nerve endings in a mouse model of multiple sclerosis. Having a drug that regrows myelin would be a game changer for MS therapies because none of the ones currently available can do that. And I'm going to take you through it all right now. What's going on y'all? I'm Damien. I was diagnosed with MS a few years ago and have been making content about the disease ever since. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn more about MS while laughing and gaining a sense of community, start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any updates. Researchers at Thomas Jefferson University recently found that ursolic acid, a compound found in some herbs like rosemary and thyme, and the peels of some fruits like apples and prunes, promoted nerve cell repair, restored the myelin sheath covering, and protected nerve endings in a mouse model of multiple sclerosis. Most therapies for multiple sclerosis are immunomodulatory. They modulate the body's autoimmune response and try to prevent immune cells from attacking nerve cells, but none of them actively promote myelin repair and regrowth. Ursolic acid, in addition to its well-known anti-inflammatory effects, also promotes a T-cell that stimulates the maturation of oligodendrocytes, those things in you that make myelin, and CNS myelin repair. Because when you have MS, myelin sheath making oligodendrocytes are depleted, and the stem cells that produce new oligodendrocytes are dormant and unable to mature. Dormant and adolescent stem cells. You've been hanging around here long enough. Go out and get a job at the oligodendrocyte making factory and get to making me some more myelin. My balance is all wonky. Oh, you can't because you're not mature? I guess you can't really send an eight-year-old to work at the factory. This ain't the 1920s anymore. But you still need to hurry up and mature because I need you on the job making oligodendrocytes, baby. Researchers said it's not a cure, but if we see a similar response in people, it would represent a significant change in quality of life. And most significantly, it's a reversal which we really haven't seen before with other agents. But the team is now planning to test its safety and assess its toxicity when used at higher doses. Now there's insufficient evidence and a lack of human studies to determine the safety of your solic acid. However, it's available on Amazon. So I'm gonna take it for a bit and I'll loop back to you if I notice anything. Tom O'Brien, author of The Autoimmune Fix, said that when it comes to gaining wellness with autoimmune disease, Base hits win the ball game. Now, I'm not expecting this to be the myelin-making magic bullet, but it's a potential base hit for some wellness. Diet, supplements, sleep, exercise, meditation, they're all base hits for wellness with MS. Individually, you get to move on, and together, you might move on enough to get enough runs to help change the ball game. And you know I'm trying to change the game, baby. So I'm gonna see if your solid acid is gonna give me a base hit. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, bye.